Welcome to the Grade 10 CAPS Mathematics video series. In this video, you will be given a broad introduction to angles, lines and triangles. Next, we consider classification of angles according to their size. In all cases, we will represent the angle BAC as indicated with the segments BA and AC used to do so and note in this case in general also one can denote uh, an unknown angle by a symbol in this case we use the symbol theta and normally Greek letters of the alphabet can be used to do so so we refer to this as the angle theta of course represented as the angle BAC in this case now in this particular case we say that the angle theta is an acute angle. This means that the angle, the size of the angle, lies between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Strictly between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Also, the next representation is of a very important type of angle. And this is why we have a specific representation here a little square that is formed to indicate or denote the angle theta in such an instance when the angle is 90 degrees. We refer to this as a right angle. So whenever the angle, the value of the angle is 90 degrees, we refer to that as a right angle and we denote it in a very special way as you can see on the screen. The next type of angle according to size will be when the angle theta is obtuse that means that the size of the angle lies between 90 degrees and 180 degrees strictly between the next representation is that of a so-called straight angle theta this is when the value of the angle is exactly 180 degrees which represents then a straight line as indicated. That's we, why we have the name straight angle associated with this particular uh, situation or representation of an angle theta. Next we have an angle which lies between 180 degrees and 360 degrees the angle theta as indicated still using our two line segments BA and CA for example and in this case we refer to this angle theta as a reflex angle an angle which lies between 180 degrees and 360 degrees and finally we have the specific case of the angle with a size of 360 degrees and in such a case we refer to such an angle as a revolution theta equal to 360 degrees one full cycle or a revolution. I think you should be ready now to tackle a tutorial which deals with the basic results on triangles. Let's have a look at problem one of this tutorial. We're given a triangle ABC and the side AB is extended to the point D as indicated. So BA is extended to D and we're also given that in triangle ABC, angle B is equal to angle C. So we have an isosceles triangle. Now let's say both these angles uh, is Y. Uh, and furthermore, the line segment AE bisects the angle DAC. So DAC, that is the exterior angle for the triangle ABC, is bisected by a line segment AE. We have to prove in such a case that the line segment AE is parallel to the line segment BC. In problem 2 uh, we are given a figure where uh, the ray MB and the ray ND are parallel. Furthermore we have that line segments MO and NO are the bisectors of angles NMB 
and M in D respectively. So can you see bisectors of the angle means that we have two equal angles there generated by this line segment MO and also for NO we have two equal angles as indicated on the screen. In such a case you have to prove that the angle MON is a right angle 90 degrees. So angle MON is 90 degrees. So basically prove that the triangle NMO is a right triangle with the right angle at the vertex O as indicated. At this point in time I suggest that you pause the video, do tutorial 2 and then come back and view possible solutions. Let us have a look at the suggested solution for problem 1 of tutorial 2. Here we have the problem again. In this case we have to prove that line segment AE is parallel to a side length or line segment BC. In this case we know that the exterior angle DAC is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles the angle B plus the angle C and in this case it is given that these two angles are the same. So if, if we express the sum in terms of Y we know that angle DAC is equal to 2Y. It's y plus Y is 2Y. But also, since AE bisects the angle DAC, we can see that this particular angle can also be expressed in terms of the unknown angle X. So 2X, which is the same as DAC, is the same as, in this case, 2Y, the sum of the opposite interior angles as indicated. So if 2x is equal to 2y then clearly we have that x is equal to y. So angle x is equal to angle y. And since we have here the angles x and y are alternate angles we know that correspondingly the line segment AE must be parallel to BC as we have discussed this before. Alternatively we can also look at the angle X in the blue part of this particular uh, angle DAC which is in this case bisected by the line segment AE and this is equal to Y these two are corresponding angles which again confirm that the line segment AE in that case must be parallel to the line segment BC because the corresponding angles will only happen or only occur if we have parallel line segments as discussed earlier. So we have either the one situation using the alternate angles or the other, the corresponding angles in such a case, to prove this particular result.